Welcome to the Natural Health Show with one of New England's leading holistic specialists, Mark Mincola. Call Mark at 617-822-1969 on 96.9 Boston Talks. Greetings and welcome home, Natural Health Nation. Great to be with you here on 96.9 Boston Talks. We are radioactive, of course, and we're actively involved in teaching you and insisting you, answering questions regarding natural health issues, diet, nutrition, vitamins, minerals, all things natural and all things health. Of course, we uh, love to answer your questions regardless of whether they're on topic or not. 617-822-1969. Verizon Wireless users, it is a free call to style pound 96.9. And of course, as uh, Jim alluded to uh, during the uh, crossover there, we've been really kind of... uh, perplexed by the recent news events. Uh, On the 13th of August, a new report was published in the American Journal of Cardiology suggesting that fast food restaurants should offer... I I can't help but chuckle when I hear this. It's it's just crazy. Uh, Yes, again, published in the American Journal of Cardiology, I said, not, uh, not Marvel Comics, suggesting that fast food restaurants should offer statin drugs. You know, the cholesterol lowering drugs, of course. And uh, the report Author goes on to suggest we propose that the fast food industry is well placed to offer advice and supplements to counteract the cardiovascular harm arising from the foods they purvey. The report went on to say these companies already have an infrastructure for providing a variety of condiments. A generic statin drug could be added to the variety of items in the self service tray at little additional cost. That is for real, folks. That was published on the 13th of August in the American Journal of Cardiology, and uh, that is absolutely the gospel truth. Hard to believe. You know, granted, the USDA has uh, confirmed that there are 100 million Americans, or approximately one-half of the entire adult population, uh, presently with with, uh, elevated cholesterol levels. The report, of course, is uh, in response to those rising cholesterol levels in the populations of both Great Britain and the United States. And, of course, uh, fast foods are the target. And uh, statins, of course, are the present solution that the uh, orthodox medical world is referring us to. So the report goes on to say statins have been shown to be safe even at high doses. Not so fast. Uh, There are some folks who would perhaps not necessarily agree with that. There are over 900 studies, according to the uh, paper published in the American Journal of Cardiovascular Drugs, over 900 studies proving the adverse effects of statin drugs, including polyneuropathy, which is, of course, nerve damage to hands and feet, anemia, acidosis, sexual dysfunction, immune re- immunosuppression, pancreatic dysfunction, liver dysfunction, cataracts, even the risk of cancer and Lou Gehrig's disease. So, uh, folks, you know, I think it's really important that we clarify some of these issues regarding this ridiculous study. Uh, Again, to me, the onus is really on the population that it addresses. The idea of telling people that it's okay to go and eat the kind of food that actually creates the risk for heart disease, and then reassuring them that there's a pill waiting right around the very same corner that you purchase that food is, to me, absolutely ludicrous. But uh, there are, again, questions regarding cholesterol. There's also questions regarding uh, the natural approach to being heart smart. And indeed, there are an awful lot of suggestions that, uh, that uh, I'm going to offer you this evening regarding heart smart nutrition, heart smart nutritional supplementation. There's some remarkable studies out there uh, that have been done. Uh, there's three products in particular that I'm going to mention on tonight's uh, program a little bit later in the broadcast, that have been well-documented, well-studied, readily available, inexpensive, and uh, these natural, no-side-effect supplements, very easy to obtain, very easy to administer on your own, safe, as we pointed out, uh, inexpensive and available, uh, have been shown to actually have a very powerful impact on your heart smart uh, position in life. So, obviously, you have the ability to uh, work with diet, Nutritional supplementation, we're going to talk very specifically about the really important, important manner in which you can make a significant difference, uh, beginning with 
not overeating fast food. And uh, we're going to talk about this absolutely ludicrous report again this evening uh, on the broadcast. Again, in Boston, New England, 617-822-1969. Verizon wireless users, it is a free call. Just dial pound 969. We're going to be back with you regarding the truth about cholesterol and natural approaches to being heart smart. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Questioning authority is a Boston tradition, and the tradition lives on right here. Any questions? 96.9 Boston Talks. You know, when most people hear the word allergies, they think only of hay fever-like symptoms associated with airborne pollen, dust, and mold. But did you know that many experts estimate that between 60 and 80 million of us suffer from immune-related food allergies without even knowing it? Furthermore, food allergies often contribute to serious health problems such as autism, irritable bowel syndrome, ADD, head and chronic ear infections. Now, there's an effective way to identify and eliminate both your food allergies and the troubling symptoms that they aggravate. Halitess Medical Labs at foodallergy.com offers a full complement of clinical, environmental, and food allergy testing to help you get to the root of your allergy problems. Halitess also provides you with a comprehensive rotation diet, lifestyle booklet, and a wallet card to help you live food allergy-free and stress-free. Do you wonder if you or your loved ones are among the 60 to 80 million food allergy sufferers in America? If so, log on to Alatest Medical Labs, foodallergy.com. Talk to your doctor about ordering a food allergy test from Alatest Medical Labs today. Food allergy Com. Make sure the food you're eating isn't what's depleting you. For more than 18 years, Personal Best Karate has been teaching character education, physical fitness, and self-defense skills to people of all ages. Led by three-time world karate champion Chris Rappold and his highly trained and motivated staff, you're sure to find a one-of-a-kind program that is just right for you and your family. Learn firsthand how Personal Best Karate can transform your life by giving their new amazing introductory offer a try. Now for only $19.95, you'll receive two private lessons and an official Personal Best Karate uniform. You'll immediately see just how easy it is to improve your self-confidence your mental focus, and your health and fitness. The helpful staff at Personal Best Karate will arrange a convenient schedule, design an affordable program to help you achieve your personal best goals. That's Personal Best Karate with locations in Easton, Foxborough, Norton, and Norwood. Check them out on the World Wide Web at personalbestkarate.com or call them at 508-285-5425. Manifest your best at Personal Best Karate. Hi, this is Laura from Good Health. We're excited to introduce Natural Factors PGX, the new science of appetite control. The PGX PGX program can be a healthy, effective, and easy way to improve eating habits for life. PGX is short for polyglycoplex, a unique complex derived from soluble plant fibers that may change your life. Taken before or with a meal, PGX helps reduce portion size and calories while leaving you feeling completely satisfied. Taking PGX slows the absorption of carbs, helping to curb your appetite. PGX supports healthy weight loss, healthy blood sugar and cholesterol levels already within normal range, and PGX helps reduce cravings. Natural Factors PGX is safe and stimulant-free. It's a proven fact. Diets rarely work. PGX is your final weight loss solution. Discover how Natural Factors PGX can help you reach your perfect weight. Visit us in Quinsier, Hanover. Learn more at goodhealthnaturalfood.com. Let us help you maintain that healthy self-image for the rest of your life. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you soon. American Express is welcome at all kinds of shops and restaurants in Boston, so you can earn rewards on all your purchases, big and small, when you use your card. Hello, my name is Clayton Turnbull, Dunkin' Donuts franchisee from Boston. Long before the idea of urban revival, I established my Dunkin' Donuts shops in Boston's neighborhoods, including Mattapan and Roxbury. In fact, Dunkin' Donuts is really more than a business. It's part of the fabric of our neighborhoods throughout Boston and surrounding communities. We are proud to serve the freshest coffee and donuts to you, our neighbors. Boston runs on Dunkin'. New England sports teams sure do get a lot of respect, but they're not number one every year. Dunkin' Ice Coffee is. Now, don't get us wrong. We love New England sports. We just feel we deserve a little love, too. And maybe one of those championship rings with a diamond-encrusted coffee bean or something? That'd be pretty sweet. Dunkin' Donuts is home to New England's number one iced coffee because it's the same coffee we've perfected for over 60 years. New England runs on Dunkin'. Price and participation may vary based on Crest's share of iced coffee orders in New England, year ending March 2010. Now, back to the Natural Health Show, sponsored by Good Health Natural Foods in Quincy and Hanover. Fran from Randolph, welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks. You're on the Natural Health Show. Yes, Mark. A few weeks ago, I called you concerning some nerve pain that I'm having uh, 
regarding a lot of issues on my spine and uh-huh. lower back. Right. And you uh, prescribed uh, a recommended hypericum. Hypericum. Homey- homey- whatever. <laughs> and I took that. Uh, they're little pellets. And I took that for five days. And mm-hmm. I took all of them. And they didn't do anything for me. And I called uh, the Good Health Store. Mm-hmm. And they told me that they do have... Uh, and uh, have that in higher dosage, what was but the, what, to call you first. Yeah, what was the uh, potency that you purchased? I think it said 30X. 30X, yeah. Yeah, yeah you could actually go to a 200C. 200C. Yeah, the other thing that I might suggest too, Fran, is that you take some, uh, some get some B12 with that as well. J- uh, Jaro Formulas makes a really good uh, high potency B12. It's a methyl, M E T H Y L, methyl B12. Okay. It's 5,000. Um, 5,000 micrograms, 5,000 MCGs, and that's um, that's Jaro, J-A-R-R-O-W, formulas, Jaro formulas, methyl B12. I would suggest one of those as well. With, one a day? Yes, that'd be fine. And uh, I wanted to know if it interacts. I do take an antidepressant. Not a problem. Not a problem. Not, not at all. So uh, I'll take the 200C and vitamin B12, uh, yeah. 5,000. Yeah, the other thing I would do is I'd probably give those about three or four weeks and then give me a call back. Okay. Thank you so much. Best wishes. Take care of yourself. Uh, and uh, just at the beginning of the broadcast, of course, we were talking about the August 13th report published in the American Journal of Cardiology suggesting that fast food restaurants should offer statins, the cholesterol-lowering medications. Of course, uh, I think they ought to develop a Lipitor burger. I don't know. That's probably the, uh, the next thing coming online. Again, if you're interested in having a discussion about Lipitor burgers or any health-related issues, please give us a call, 617-822-1969. Verizon Wireless users, it is a free call. Just dial pound 96.9. Janice from Melrose, welcome to 96.9. Hi, Boston Mark. Talks. Um, How are you? Good. I had a question on the calcium supplement. You mentioned one last week, and I did not get the name, a safe supp- supplement. Yes, it's BioCalth, B-I-O-C-A-L-T-H, and it's a form of calcium called 3 and 8 T-H-R-E-O-N-A-T-E, BioCalth. And who is that by? Is that that's the brand? Bio-Cal- yeah, BioCalth okay. is the brand and a type of calcium that it is. It's, it's calcium three and eight. It's an amino acid bonded uh, calcium. Okay. And Good Health Natural Foods is pretty well stocked. I know because uh, I move in and out of there pretty readily, and I always check those shelves, so I know they're pretty well stocked. Okay. And um, does it have magnesium in it? Do you know? Or? Uh, no, it doesn't. Uh, but you could take a separate magnesium with that. Just to probably use a, um, a magnesium. Uh, citrate or something of that nature, maybe 500 milligrams of magnesium citrate. But the biocalp is a okay. very absorbable form of calcium. Okay, and is it always necessary to take magnesium with calcium? You know, in a, in a generic sense, yes, it is better. It's more readily absorbed. The two work very nicely together synergistically, but uh, could you conceivably do well without it? You could, but okay. uh, I would advise it. Okay, all right, thank you. You're very welcome. Right, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Let's see, we've got uh, Wayne on the line from Quincy. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks. You're on the Natural Health Show. Hey, Mark, how are you? Terrific, how are you? Good, thanks. I'm going to rattle off a quick, couple of quick ones here. Um, last, about a year ago, my uh, LDL cholesterol is okay. My tri- triglycerides are high, but over the past year, my HDL has gone from 31 29 to 26 and my physician put me on a statin Mm -hmm. so you're saying and i I eat like a bird i mean i take the fish oil and i eat pretty well so maybe it's a genetic thing here but i I know you haven't gotten into the statins at all but are you saying that i shouldn't go on this because i just started it like three weeks ago no not i'm not really saying that what i'm saying is is that i would really encourage my listening audience to do a little bit of research and to uh dig in it's a much broader issue than most folks are aware of and uh, because it is your health and because uh it's an extremely important facet of your health i advise you to take a deeper look and uh, my suggestion is that you look into some of the research regarding hdl i think the real important point in some of the more significant research out there is to get that HDL up uh, because if your HDL if your total cholesterol to your HDL is 3.5 to 1 or less you're in pretty good shape 
And I think that, uh, you know, there's a lot of terrific, terrific studies out there that would bear that out. Also, when you really think about the whole cholesterol issue, you might look at some of the work of Dr. Michael Brown from MIT, who back in 1984 won two Nobel Prizes on the topic because he uh, gave a very fine uh, presentation of uh, HMG coenzyme A reductase, which is basically the the suggestion that 80% of our cholesterol is manufactured by our own liver, and it is basically engaged to do so uh, when we have high levels of insulin. So the real key to lowering cholesterol, and most importantly, lowering bad cholesterol and triglycerides and saturated fats from our artery walls, is to really make sure that our sugar concentrations are down and then our white flour uh, concentrations are down in our diet. So they're not overeating a lot of starch and a lot of sugars that trigger a lot of insulin because Dr. Michael Brown, two-time Nobel Prize winner, basically said, look, folks, 80% of that cholesterol is from insulin, and that's triggered by sugar and white flour, etc. So that's the real issue, um, and it seems to be lost on the ears of the American public. So I'm just encouraging folks not to, not, not to uh, is avoid what their physicians are telling them by any means, but to bring more to the table in that interaction, uh, and to not just simply sit by idly while people do your formulations for you, but to dig in, do your research, that's why I refer to this as is uh, Good Health Nation, Natural Health Nation, the idea that we're interested in really digging, finding our information, bringing it to the table, and uh, and really getting involved in the process. Self-empowerment is the key here. So I'm encouraging you not to stop taking them and encourage you to do a little bit more reading, a little more digging. Okay, he vanished. Anyway, <laughs> right from thin air. All right, so we've got, uh, let's see, Betty in the line from Upton. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks. You're on the Natural Health Show, Betty. Hi, um, Mark. I've been listening to your show every week on, on Sunday afternoon. Okay, thank you I so have much. a question as it relates to my son, who's 50. Yep. About two months ago, he was diagnosed with something called scoloritis in his left eye. Yes. And an inflamed left eyeball. Mm -hmm. And they did all a series of tests and uh, an MRI and all of that. And uh, we still don't have a total answer as to what's going on. But my question is, what can I sort of suggest to him to take to help to his uh, his chances with getting rid of this scoloritis? Right. Well, you, you, cer you certainly know uh, for sure that you're dealing with an inflammatory uh, condition. So, number one, you've got inflammation. Number two... Number, I think it's really important that there are a number of foods that actually trigger inflammation that make any pre-existing uh, inflammatory condition even worse. So your objective is to nutritionally kind of cut back on some of those what we call icosanoid foods or those hormone-like foods that can drive up your inflammatory hormones. Uh, so I always suggest that folks avoid the peanuts, the peanut butter, the red meats, the, the uh, egg yolks, the dairy products, because those are among the foods that, that really elevate uh, your inflammatory icosanoids, those hormone-like molecules in your body. So you know, one of the things that you could do is suggest that he goes a little bit more in the direction of anti-inflammatory foods, uh, more soy, more flax, uh, more walnuts, more pumpkin seeds. Uh, again, there's a variety of of really important, important uh, foods that actually are great substitute foods. For example, from peanut butter, which is inflammatory, you move over to soy nut butter, which is anti-inflammatory. So I think making the dietary shift is extremely important. I've seen it truly really make great, great, uh, great uh, differences with a lot of inflammatory conditions. Also, you know, to take a fairly high dose of fish oil capsules, to take uh, perhaps 4,000 milligrams of omega-3 fish oils from a reputable company like Nordic Naturals, for example. I would try that kind of approach for a month just to see if you can't affect his anti-inflammatory hormonal response in a favorable way and at least improve the condition. But those conditions can often be the result of viruses, localized uh, herpetic-type viruses and things of this nature. So we'll let them dig in, let those, those physicians uh, do their job. But meanwhile, help out on your own. Roll up your sleeves and get the anti-inflammatory diet going. Thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. Good luck. All right, let's see. We've got, uh, let's see who's patient here. Millie from Lynn. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks. You're on the Natural Health Show. Uh, good afternoon, Mark. Thanks good afternoon. for taking my call. Last year I was, uh, I had tingling in my feet, and my doctor couldn't diagnose it. 
but he did want me to have an echogram because mm-hmm. he said I had a loud heartbeat, and uh, they said I had mitral valve regurge. Right. And so they put me on statin and a high blood pressure medicine. But um, I don't know. Is it, would, that, would cholesterol be the cause of uh, tingling in your feet? No, no. I think that uh, if you've got my, it sounds like you've got. Uh, did you say you have mitral valve prolapse? Is that true? Right. Okay. Correct. Yeah. 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 What you might want to do, I'll tell you, there's a superb, superb book uh, called Metabolic Cardiology. Metabolic. D- cardiology. Metabolic Cardiology by Dr. Stephen T. Sinatra, as in Frank Sinatra. Oh, okay. But Stephen T. Sinatra's books, superb, superb books, great books, and they detail uh, very thoroughly in a very understandable way. Uh, the natural metabolic approach to dealing with these kind of issues, and uh, he's uh, he's done a great job explaining these things in, in a great way that I think uh, you'll be able to to glean a lot of useful uh, nutritional information from. But you know, basically, I, I think things like GPLC, uh, things like pantothene, you know, you'll see all these listed in the book. And uh, in the back of the book, there's actually an index for mitral valve prolapse or virtually every condition you can think of that's correlated with any kind of of, uh, of problem, cardiovascular related problem. And he details the protocol that he recommends for those individual problems. So nicely done. Kudos to him. Check it out. It's mitral valve. Oh, what was that book again? I'm sorry. The, uh, the book is called Metabolic, M-E-T-A, Meta- Metabolic okay. Cardiology by, by Stephen T. Sinatra, Dr. Stephen T. Sinatra. Okay. Thank you very, very much. You're very, very welcome. Hey, we're going to take a short little break, and uh, we're going to let you ponder the concept of a Lipitor burger because it seems to be coming to a fast food restaurant near, near you. We'll be right back after these messages. Stay tuned. Michael Graham. They want to have their kids play in their own playground, and they can't do it because a bunch of geese are there. Protests from animal rights groups put an end to goose hunting. Shoot the damn geese. <laughs> Michael Graham. Weekdays 10 to 2, 96.9, Boston Talks. Anyone who knows me knows that I don't believe in one-size-fits-all approaches to dieting and nutrition. We all have uniquely different chemistries and metabolisms that must be expertly understood in order for us to attain maximum health results. I believe the same holds true for fitness training. Being cattle prodded through some cookie-cutter fitness program is never going to get you lasting results. That's why when it comes to fitness training, I recommend Fitness Together. At Fitness Together, you'll receive personalized one-on-one training geared to you and you alone. Fitness Together owner Steve Lickman has told me personally that he's dedicated to the vision of holistic, personalized training programs that really work because they're tailored to each individual's specific needs. Want to get your fitness act together? Want to experience a truly holistic approach to fitness training? Call my good friend Steve Lickman at 781-572-1002 or log on to getfitnessresults.com. That's fitness together for your personalized map to fitness success. Make plans now for an evening with Deepak Chopra. Hear Deepak Chopra Thursday, September 23rd at the Salem State O'Keefe Sports Center. Deepak Chopra is acknowledged as one of the world's greatest leaders in the field of mind-body medicine. Deepak Chopra will continue to transform your understanding of the meaning of health. To register for Deepak Chopra, log on to MyHealthyLivingMag.com. General admission is just $20. Programs begin at 8 p.m. at the Salem State O'Keefe Sports Center. Call 781-834-2728 for tickets. That's 781-834-2728. This is your chance to see author, speaker, physician, and founder of the Chopra Center, Deepak Chopra, in person. Thursday, September 23rd at the Salem State O'Keefe Sports Center. For tickets to Deepak Chopra on September 23rd, log on to MyHealthyLivingMag.com. MyHealthyLivingMag.com. Hi, this is Catherine from Jaro Formulas. We can be found on the web at jaro.com, J-A-R-R-O-W.com. Jaro is the leading manufacturer of dietary supplements. We offer over 300 vitamins, minerals, enzymes, and probiotics. At Jaro, our mission is to provide superior nutrition and formulation. We team with industry leaders and top academic researchers to bring you quality you can depend on. This is exactly why we have partnered with Mark Mincola. Mark brings cutting-edge science in education to his listeners and clients, and we are proud to be part of his team. We look forward to bringing you more information about specific products over the year with Mark and exciting topics. You can buy Jaro formulas at a health food store near you. Find out more about Jaro at jaro.com. That's J-A-R-R-O-W.com. 
Hey, it's Jim from Ace Ticket, Boston's very own ticket agency. Ace Ticket is based here in Boston, so we know every seat in every venue. We're Boston fans just like you. Ace Ticket is the official ticket partner of the Boston Red Sox and fan travel partner of the New England Patriots, which means you'll always get the best seats at the best prices. Ace also has great tickets to the Ultimate Fighting Championship match at the Garden. If it's concert tickets you're after, Ace Ticket always has the best seats in the house. It's so easy to get the tickets you want and the service you deserve. And all of our tickets come with a 200% guarantee. So you never have to worry when you buy from Ace Ticket. Guaranteed. So treat yourself for someone special. Visit aceticket.com or call 1-800-MY-SEATS to speak to one of our helpful ticket experts. Ace makes it easy with free and easy pickup at our Fenway Park location. That's 1-800-MY-SEATS or 617-783-3333. 1-800-MY-SEATS. 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 Now back to the Natural Health Show, sponsored by Good Health Natural Foods in Quincy and Hanover. All right, we've given you a little bit of time to ponder the Lipitor burger concept. Once again, on August 13th, a new report published in the American Journal of Cardiology suggested that fast Food restaurants should offer statins, the cholesterol-lowering medicines. And uh, it goes on to say that uh, they believe that these fast food environments are well-placed. They're well-placed to offer advice and supplements to counteract the cardiovascular harm arising from the foods they serve. Hey, you're lucky if they get the... uh, the hamburger order right. I mean, <laughs> we're going to get our health advice and our supplements uh, in the form of pharmaceutical medicines from fast food. That's great stuff. Um, um, these companies already have, it goes on to say, these companies already have an infrastructure for providing a variety of condiments. A generic statin could be added to the variety of items in the self-service tray at little additional cost. This, folks, you can't make up. This was in the American Journal of Cardiology. You can't make that stuff up. Amazing stuff. Uh, You know, the Jupiter clinical trial is one of the lead statin trials that many experts uh, now suggest has very flawed results. In June 29th of this year, 2010, ABC News reported major discrepancies exist between the significant reductions in non-fatal stroke and heart attacks reported in the Jupiter trial. The Jupiter trial data seems to have significant biases. So... Anyway, there you have it. Um, I I say that the most important part of this equation, when you really think about the research that's out there and you really comb it enough, is you start to learn that it's all about insulin. It's really more about sugar. It's really more about white flour. It's really more about simple processed, highly processed starches because the insulin that they trigger is where 80% of our liver's manufacturing of cholesterol comes from. So the objective is to understand that when you produce a high concentration of these sugary uh, processed dessert kind of junk foods, etc., and white flour products, you're driving up your insulin and your liver is encouraged to produce a significantly higher amount of its own cholesterol. Anyway, we've got uh, Paul on the line from Reading. Welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks. You're on the Natural Health Show. Hi, thank you for taking my call. Um, I have been taking a supplement called Breveil. I've been taking it about a year and a half, mm-hmm. and it's for breast health and for menopause, and it mm-hmm. works very, very well. And I wanted to do, have you heard of it? I've not. It sounds like it's probably a plant estrogen, probably with uh, DIM, diendyl methane. There's a number of different plant-based estrogens out there that uh, have been formulated in a variety of different products. But mm-hmm. uh, that's great that you've had good uh, good experience with it. You know, the thing here is is that you've got two major distinctions with estrogen. You've got plant-based estrogens, which are the 2.0 alpha hydroxyesterones, and you've got the animal-based, like hormone replacement therapy would. would would uh, be 1.6, and those 1.6s have been shown to be quite toxic under many circumstances and studies. Mm-hmm. The 2.0 from plant offset those negatives, so they antagonize all the negative experiences that that women could have with bad with bad estrogen in their body. So okay. It's uh, it's not unusual to hear that. It sounds uh, terrific. In the in there, you know, people are often concerned about the potential dangers of estrogen in the plant base. They are one two thousandth is concentrated so mm-hmm. not to worry they usually are pretty uh, pretty effective and pretty safe 
Because I found taking that, they, I was at one point on a bioidentical, yep. and I even have stopped that, and I just upped my dosage of the Breveil, mm-hmm. and I very rarely seem to be getting hot flashes and night sweats. Good. So I assume it is because of, like you said, the, the high level of the plant estrogen. Yes, and, and that comes from a group of foods, too, called indoles, I-N-D-O-L-E-S, indoles. Mm-hmm. They're called indole-3-carbinols, and, they, and they're very prevalent in uh, Brussels sprouts and mustard greens and all that stuff. So okay. a lot of uh, wonderful medicines on our foods out there, so more of those won't hurt your program at all either. Well, maybe you could look into that for another program because I think it would greatly benefit women to know that there is something that they could do proactively um, for that area of their body where we really don't hear a lot about. Good, good advice. Okay, thank Will you. Do. Good luck. Take Bye-bye. care. And uh, again, our phone number is here, 617-8221-969. Verizon Wireless users, lucky you. It's a free call. Just dial pound 969. And let's see, we've got uh, Denise... In Northboro, welcome to 96.9 Boston Talks. You're on the Natural Health Show. Hi, Mark. Um, I'm calling because my daughter has um, anxiety. She's a she's only a teenager, yep. and I wanted to go with um, something natural like St. John's Wort mm-hmm. or Kava Kava. Um, only because I read about it. I don't know anything about that. Or could you tell me a little bit? It's it's more stress-induced anxiety, like school-related anxiety, and I'm wondering yep. if that might be something I should consider for her. Well, you know, I think my, my, favorite, uh, my favorite suggestion would be L-theanine, T-H-E-A-N-I-N-E, L-theanine. Um, there's a terrific, terrific uh, product called Sun Theanine, S-U-N, like sunshine, Sun Theanine, T-H-E-A-N-I-N-E. And it, all it really is is it's an adjunct of green tea. It's an isolated adjunct from within the green tea, and it has remarkable anti-anxiety properties, and it's very, very effective. doesn't take long to work. Uh, it's safe, uh, so you don't have any, any worries about it as far as your daughter using it. So I would recommend like 200 milligrams of sun theanine twice a day during the daytime on an empty stomach, uh, better absorbed on an empty stomach because of the, uh, the uh, hydrochloric acid you're going to produce in between meals. So I'd recommend 200 milligrams of L-theanine or the sun theanine. Mid morning and 200 milligrams mid afternoon. That's that's where I'd go. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. My pleasure. My pleasure. Let's see. We've got uh, we've got some interesting uh, issues here again regarding cholesterol because we've uh, we've mentioned that there's an awful lot that you need to think about. Again, the first point I've already made this evening is if you really want to manage a heart smart life profile. You really want to cut down on the sugar, the white flour. What do you eat? You eat a lot of lean protein, like chicken, turkey, fish, uh, beans, uh, soy products. You also um, want to make sure you have plenty of greens in the diet. So it's the low-starch carbohydrates in the form of your low-starch veggies. The premium should be placed on the lean protein in your greens and uh, perhaps a fruit or two a day, but to cut way down on the starch and the grain products, especially the white flour version of same. And you want to cut way down on junk foods that are very sugary because, again, it's the white flour, starches, sugars, desserts that are going to drive up the insulin. And as we pointed out, Dr. Michael Brown won two Nobel Prizes back in 1984 because uh, he showed us that 80% of our cholesterol is the result of our own liver's production of cholesterol, which is triggered by insulin from sugar. So the one thing that uh, we seem to frequently miss in this area of heart-smart lifestyle is the importance of cutting down on the sugar and the white flour products. That's really the key, and uh, that's going to make all the difference in the world. In terms of supplements, I believe there's some supplements that you might want to take a look at, and uh, I'll tell you what they are. There's uh, some new research that's been coming in regarding uh, something called Eclonia cava, which is basically a brown algae. Now, many different, there's blue-green algaes, etc. There's many different algaes out there. But the brown algaes seem to have the uh, ability to drive up your HDL, your good cholesterol, and drive down your bad cholesterol. And as we said, uh, it's, it's my belief in a lot of the work that uh, I've studied, a lot of the research that I've studied, I think the real key here is to maintain a very significantly stable ratio of your, good, your total cholesterol to your good cholesterol. You want your total to your HDL to be 3.5 to 1 or less. 
less. Total cholesterol, 3.5 in ratio to one part HDL. Or a simpler way to put it, you want to drive up that HDL as, as high as you possibly can. Gentleman that called earlier, I believe he said his, cholesterol, his uh, good cholesterol's HDL is in the 20s and 30s. You don't want that to happen. You want your good cholesterol to be higher than 60, higher than 70. A um, good friend of mine who's actually a cardiologist says, you know, we never see people who have HDLs in the 70s, so there's a case in point right there. You want to drive up that HDL. Most women who take fairly good care of themselves are very fortunate. Uh, I've seen in the corporate population hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of women who really do a great job with their diet and their lifestyle will drive their HDLs up in the 120s and 130s, and uh, no worries there, believe me. Those, those gals have nothing to worry about. And the key really, again, is get your HDL up, and the best way I can think of to do that is really diet and exercise, but the brown algaes are going to start coming more into play. You can write that down because the latest research is indicating that brown algae does seem to be able to do that. There's a product made by Cal, K-A-L, called F-U-C-O-I-D-A-N, and it's F-U-C-O-I, F-U-C-O-I, Fucoidin, Fucoidin, F-U-C-O-I-D-A-N, Fucoidin, Fucoidin made by Cal, K-A-L. And that's basically the isolated marine polysaccharide, you know, about the, the, uh, the wonderful uh, the polyphenols that are part of the great French paradox we always hear about, the importance of grapes and the red wine and the, the uh, polyphenols that are so heart smart and so important. Well, we're going to start finding now more and more that these brown algaes and the fucoidin, it's in these brown algaes, is really the key polyphenol that's going to be the superstar at raising up your HDL, lowering that LDL, and lowering that triglyceride. So uh, Fucoidin, F-U-C-O-I-D-A-N, are going to be talking more and more about it on this program, and you're going to hear more about it in general in the future. F-U-C-O-I-D-A-N, Fucoidin, F-U-C-O-I-D-A-N, Fucoidin. Great, great product made by Cal, K-A-L. Good Health Natural Foods can get it for you. And uh, I think it's well worth the effort if you want to kind of do something from the natural side of things for your cholesterol. And again, our call number here at 617-822-1969. Verizon Wireless users, it's a free call. Just dial pound 96.9. We'll be back with your questions right after these messages. Stay there. Ready? 